The National Institute for Health Research has established biomedical research centres at hospitals partnered with leading universities across the UK. These provide unique support for groundbreaking research, helping clinicians and researchers explore new frontiers to help patients. This is the information age and countless breakthroughs depend upon mining the huge mountains of data that clinicians and researchers gather every day. Mining these treasure troves of data is all important. They give us new and unique insight into the human body and diseases. And it's this that Seb Orselin's work has focused on. Images are really the best way of assessing in real time what is happening to the patient. If you go to surgery, you will use pre-operative data, so offline images of your body to build a surgical planning. The trouble is, once you arrive into the operating room, the patient is on the table, the patient is breathing, there is motion. So if we can use online data in real time, we can completely change the paradigm to make it true for the time of the surgery. We can use new biomechanical models, we can use new nanotechnology, we can use computer science, we can use modeling, and we can use data science. And combining all of them together, we can build some unique tools which can then make a difference to patients. As a fetal surgeon, we operate, usually with small instruments, but sometimes through very big incisions on a fetus, so in the mother during pregnancy. We will use these new instruments to do the same operations more effectively and more safely with better outcomes both for the mother and for the fetus. I think in 10 years down the line, all the data from any part of the body can be mined to be able to not only diagnose but prognose. So not only telling you you have cancer or you have dementia, it's you are going to have dementia in seven years' time. And because now we know that, we can actually send them to the right treatment. So we can actually personalize the treatment thanks to all of this information. And I think this revolution is happening. The exciting part is to make the tool a reality, to make a difference to patients and make a difference to humankind.